to jasonnewland.com or deepsleepwhisper.com which is the new podcast for these Deep Sleep Whisper recordings. Everything will still be where it was before, just an additional place. Uh, specific for the deep sleep whisper hypnosis sessions kind of like the home you know uh, I don't know how else to s describe it really it's just it's got its own place now on the internet as well as being on lots of other podcasts like Spotify and iHeartRadio and Stitcher and blimey, loads iTunes Podbean uh, there's another one, I can't remember it anyway, there's lots of different ones so there's another one with radio in it Radio, oh yeah, Radio FM, I think, is another podcast host. So, as per usual, please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe and maybe like it if you like it. Number 71. This is number 71. And thought I'd do a nice relaxing wind down. A kind of turning off the parts of your body. I like the analogy, I've used the analogy as well, of like turning the, the lights off in your house before going to bed. I used to have a job years ago where part of my job was to turn out the lights in all the offices in this huge building, a big, big building with lots of floors and lots of offices. And my job was, part of my job was to go around, start at the top, and make sure all the windows were locked, closed and locked. Make sure all the, yeah, the bathrooms and the, the toilets were all, you know, fine and taps turned off and everything like that. Then turning all the lights off closing all the doors and then moving down to the next floor and doing the same thing I guess from the outside of the building it would look like the building was going to sleep you know starting at the top because from the outside you could see you could probably see me walking around in the distance, looking in through the windows. You could see each level with the lights being turned off. You know there's no one there. It's quiet. You know that it's quiet inside. That quietness moves down as the lights get turned off, moving, moving further down the building. And this is just quite a relaxing thing to do because that building was very busy during the day you know hundreds of people working there coming in 
hustle and bustle and you know, all the computers are on, the lights are on, telephones ringing, all that kind of stuff all day long. And then I'd go up starting at the top floor and just be a bunch of empty chairs. Everything's okay. Just, you know, if there's a knockdown chair, maybe put it up. And then just close the windows that needed closing. myself walking a lot slower than normal because I felt more relaxed than I normally would do when there's people there and then I turn the lights off it was also like Almost like saying good night to that floor, good night to those tables, those desks, good night to the chairs, good night to the windows, good night to the toilets, and good night to the lights, good night to the doors that were closed. And I closed the door. To that floor. Then I closed the window to the hall and locked that, and then I'd go down the stairs and start all over again with the floor, the new floor, or the next floor. Shutting everything down, feeling more and more relaxed, calmer, walking slowly, closing the doors and turning out the lights for each office. the door and then turn and make sure that the window is closed in the hallway and locked and safe then I go down the next set of steps down to the next level and go in there same shutting down of that floor making sure the air conditioning was turned off enjoying the quietness when the air conditioning was off felt so quiet with just the sounds of the traffic in the background very calm I could look out the window 
goes and see the city. You see the other buildings, some of which were dark with all the lights off. Some had some lights on.
this was the final floor, but there was the ground floor, which is where I would be, where I would sit for the night. But on this first floor, I would go in, and there was a big couch, like a big settee couch. There was magazines and papers. There was even a little radio, if I wanted to listen to music. And my colleague, my friend, my working partner, was downstairs, keeping charge of the building so what I would do I'd check everything turn most of the lights off on that floor I'd lay down on the couch big long couch I'd go to sleep just have a rest Just enjoy the sound of the distance, traffic, and nothing else. Maybe the odd click or sound of the, the building itself, because all buildings have a sound.
is your feeling. 